A PLR hoarder? <laughs> Are you one? Do you have all this PLR all over your computer? Stacks and stacks of them for years. You bought so much and you never used it? You think about it. You want to use it. But what happens? I know what it's like because I was one of those too. I'm Brian Toder with PLR Ideas where I talk about PLR, use PLR, and how to make money with PLR. And I have something special. It's a free checklist for your PLR. It's a checklist about buying PLR, using PLR, rebranding it, and everything. This is my recommendation. It's free for you by clicking on that link below this video. Do it and do it now. PLR hoarding. <laughs> it's a challenge. So this is a challenge that only costs you about 10 bucks. I would highly recommend this, especially if you have so much PLR. And to get the PLR hoarding challenge, there's a link below this video. It's 10 bucks. Get it. Now, while I'm doing this challenge, I'm going to be in this challenge, I have actually organized my PLR. This is my PLR, but there's so much of it. Look at this. It keeps going and going. I'm on the J's. I'm in the M's. It keeps going. But I have everything in folders and folders inside folders and folders inside of folders. I have so much PLR. I just heard about this on an email. They just it just popped in my email box and I clicked on it. I never heard of the site, but you know what? I'm impressed. I liked it and I want to be an affiliate. I really am. So I checked this out and look at this. How to stop hoarding your PLR for $10. So I bought it. Why not? So for the next five days, you get some email and it tells you what to do. I haven't got the first one yet, so I'm not really sure exactly what it is. But you know what? For 10 bucks, a cup of coffee, why not? And it asks two questions that I've asked before. Do you really need that PR? <laughs> and are you using the PR that, that you already have? Two good questions. So do you really need it? And what are you doing with the PLR that you already have? So what do you get for 10 bucks? So let's take a look at this. This is the inventory list. And remember, I, I haven't gone through their email course, so I'm just guessing. But my guess is you pick a topic or a niche and you match your PLR to it. And if you're like me, you probably need a couple of sheets of this. Then there's something called the PLR needed. The PLR that you need and the PLR you really should just delete. This is a great idea, storage locations. Now I have the PLR on my computer. I have it in Dropbox. I have a time machine for my computer. I have multiple places that my PLR is. In fact, uh, when I die, there's enough PLR for the world. And this is nice. How are you going to repurpose this? What's your plan of action? I'm really curious. And I, I can't wait for these emails because I want to see what they say. And this is my PLR seller list. These are the sellers I trust. So these are the people who sell PLR, like this website. Fortunately, I have a whole list in bookmarks. I know exactly where they are. I have their membership information, the passwords, and everything. So with this, I'm pretty organized because I'm really sure who I buy from. And that's what you get for 10 bucks. You know what? I would say get it. There is a link below this video. Get it. 10 bucks. And you know what? When you do this, put some comments below this video. I want to know what you're doing with this. And they do have a Facebook page, so I'm going to noodle around and see what other people are saying. So I'm Brian Toder with PLR Ideas, where I talk about PLR, use PLR, and how to make money with PLR. We'll talk soon. Thank you